Today we are starting off with a Slim Can Coolsy from the Still Magnolia. Make sure you check the description for a discount code for you guys. I do this really technical measuring system with my hands and just find the middle and we're just going to tape off right above the middle section. Take six of your favorite beachy sunset colors. I am using chalk paint, but acrylic paint works just as well. And we're going to start with your lightest sand color, which will be on the bottom. And it is best to take this paint color about a third of the way up the half of the cup, if that makes any sense. Moving on to our light blue color, we're going to place that right above the brown color. You can kind of just slop this on. It doesn't have to be super precise as we're going to cover it with glitter. And then we're going to move on to our dark blue color and we're going to go right up to the tape. While this paint is still wet, we're just going to blend those colors in a little bit. Take your paintbrush from the light blue color and just go over that line that we created back and forth, kind of pushing a little bit hard and it will kind of fade that out and blend a little bit better. Now take a small piece of tape and cut out a half circle. You can definitely use your Cricut or a Silhouette, but me, I'm too lazy to pull it out for such a simple shape. <laughs> Once you get your circle cut, half circle cut out, you're going to place this right on the horizon on our dark blue color. Now we are going on to the top section of our cup, which will be the sunset colors. I'm starting off with a dark purple, and we're going to paint that purple about half of the half, if that makes any sense. And then I'm gonna go on to the darker pink. And before we move on to the coral, we're going to blend the pink and purple a little bit, just because we have to be a little bit more precise with the coral placement. Now we can go in with that coral, but we're just going to be really careful and just follow the line. Go slowly and just make the line as perfect as you can. You can try to tape this off, but to me it's not worth it um, when this is just a base color and I'm risking pulling up my paint with tape. Once that paint is all dry, we're going to mix up a little bit of epoxy, just a few milliliters will do. And we're going to place a super thin layer of epoxy on our cup to apply our glitter. We are going to start with the color Cactus Blossom. I just like to take the whole lid off my glitter. And this is the only other time that I ask you guys to be super precise. Just barely tap and let that glitter come out. And we're going to be following that coral line. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Just do the best that you can.
taking the glitter color love spell we're going to just glitter right in the center of that dark pink don't worry about blending at this point Taking the glitter color Bodacious, we're going to glitter the top of this cup about a third of the way down. Now we will go back with all three colors and blend a little bit more. I just hold my jar up a little bit higher and go back and forth with all three colors until you get a beautiful blend. Now that we have the top blended beautifully, we're going to go on to the water section of our cup. I'm using the color Ocean Eyes, and we're just going to place it right beneath our light pink glitter color. I chose the glitter color champagne for the sand portion of my cup. I'm going to just start on the base and make sure that's coated really well. And then we're going to do the same as we did on the top with the purple and taking the sand about halfway up. For the light blue color, I chose Totally Tubular. We're gonna go right between the Ocean Eyes color and the Champagne color, right in the middle, keeping it fairly concentrated. Now we're gonna go back in and blend those colors together. Go back with the Ocean Eyes. I just hold it up a little bit higher from the cup, tapping my cup so just a few sprinkles hit it, and then I go back and forth with each color until I get the blend that I desire. While the epoxy is still wet, we're going to go in and remove our little sun. You're now going to set that cup to the side and let it cure for a couple hours just to make sure that your glitter is set in place. Before we move on to the sun, we are just going to take some acrylic paint and while that is wet, sprinkle on your favorite yellow glitter. I used as if. Once that epoxy layer is cured, we're gonna go in and add another epoxy layer. This one being a little bit thinner than our previous layer, we don't want too much movement with our clouds and waves. Now mix up for our waves a little bit of epoxy. I used epoxy pigment from Woody's Goodies called Running Man and then I always add the Luster Dust Pure from my shop. It just gives it the prettiest shimmer. We're gonna start down by the sand part of the cup, moving upwards into the water. I just take the side, kind of like the skinny side of my stick here, and I just dip a little bit and make wave-like motions on my cup. A little bit goes a long way, so don't overdo it. you have all of your waves on 
I like to take the flatter part of my stick just in the sand area where the beach waves would crash and be a little bit wider and I just flatten those waves out a little bit but I leave the skinnier waves in the water if that makes any sense. <laughs> Now for the clouds, I like to take the flatter part of my stick. A little bit still goes a long way, but I kind of just do a blob and then a swirl and then a pull. I know those are really technical terms, but hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I just went and did print and cut on some palm leaves I found on either design bundles or creative fabrica I'm sorry I don't remember I'm going to try to find this file for you guys but if I can't I'm sure anything that looks similar will work fine we're just going to place them at the top of our cup and then around the bottom of our cup Once you get your leaves all the way around how you would like, take an X-Acto knife and trim off the excess. Now for the bottom, I just like to fold over the excess leaves and just press them as flat as I possibly can, leaving a smooth rim. And then I just took a bunch of leaves and layered them up in the silhouette program and then cut a circle to hide those exposed ends. Now it's time to add your decal. I chose the SVG from my shop that says Beach Babe. I did a teeny tiny white offset with gold in the middle. And here she is all finished. This is just one of those designs I just never get sick of looking at. I just love the sparkle and the extra palm leaves. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as well. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on all other social media platforms under Diamonds and Dust.